Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we find ourselves in the Netherlands, near Nesse. Uh, you know that I love to come here. But today is not a trip vlog or a campsite review. Actually, we're doing a product review. So, story time. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a lovely chap called Richard from the UK, who said, well, you have two lovely children, and I have a solution for you for having them sleep in, in the van. And he said, if you make a video for me, I will send you one. So this is a product review, and yes, it is a sponsored product review, but I will give you my honest opinion. Well, actually, I'm not gonna give my opinion. My kids are gonna give their opinion because they're the ones gonna sleep in the bed. So let's start by showing you what you get and how you set it up. So first of all, it comes with these two rods and they are placed next to the frame of the cabin and they're held in place with simple Velcros. It doesn't, the Velcro doesn't provide any uh, support. It's just simply to hold uh, to hold it in place so when you're driving it's not going over everywhere or when you're trying to install the bed it doesn't move. Each one of these rods has two hooks which will be the hooks where the bed clicks in. So that's as simple as that. You adjust these things with a, a simple Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you adjust the height. And uh, so one goes over there and one goes next to the table. And it's built in a way so that it doesn't interfere with the table. So the table can stay in place. You don't have to remove it. Um, and that is the big advantage compared to the bed that you make here. The one that comes uh, with, uh, with the Adria or the one that you can order with the Adria. Because that one, first of all, blocks the entire entrance and you need to um, remove the table and, and then add the other board. Uh, it takes up space in the, in the trunk, it takes up space in the trunk. Uh, and so, yeah, this is a much more space efficient solution. That said, uh, it is not a bed for two adults. So the bed that you can build here, for the Adria bed, an adult can sleep in it. I don't think a f uh, someone from my size can sleep in the cabin. Then in order to install it, you need to turn the seats around. There you go, turn it around. So now we have the two rods installed. Now it's time to get the actual cab bunk and place it over the seats. So it comes in this nice little package uh, and it's about 166 centimeters long. I still have to figure out where I'm going to put it in the van, but it is compact and it's not heavy at all. So we take it out of the package, like so. So basically, it has several rods in there. The first time you open it, it's a bit of a, okay, what goes where? But once you know it, it's quite simple. Let's show you how it looks from the side. So you can see two rods go over the seats so and then the last step in the process is to get these things into the the hooks and then you have your beds and so there you have it fully installed and ready for the rascals so here you have two hammock kind of beds so, fun fact about these things is, well, a hammock and a stretcher-like hammock like these have been around for years. 
What is, however, unique is that they were the first one to figure out how to uh, put it over the headrest. And the nice thing is that the more weight you put on it, the more of a grip it gets to it. So a small child, small grip, larger child, larger grip, which makes, makes it very comfortable for the kids to sleep. Well, at least in theory. We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, anyway, what I also personally like about it is, the thing is, you don't have to remove the table, so you, I can at least sit here while, while the kids are already sleeping or still sleeping. But what I also love is that you can simply put these away over there. There you go. So if you're staying for a few more days and you want to use the seat, you don't have to take the whole thing away. You can just simply fold that over there and then you can, uh, can you have your four seats, which if you have, uh, well, I at least need three, me and the two kids. So I guess next step is to wait until nightfall and have the kids sleep in it. Very curious to see how that's going to go. How have another trend? Let's go. Hey, what? And and what what shouldn't they forget? The like and the subscribe right now. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Yes. To the beach. 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 Beach time. Beach time. What? I'm gonna film. So that was fun, we went to the beach, we went swimming, we had snacks, we had dinner and now the kids are excited to test the bunks and watch a little bit of their, uh, watch their iPad in the bunks. So let's finish uh, setting it up again and then uh, have them try it out. Okay, let's go. So we start with the lowest one. All right, younglings, sleeping bag. All right, after some debate, we decided that the youngest is gonna sleep on top and the oldest is gonna sleep on the bottom. There are reasons for that, well, but we're not gonna digress. First one. So we see little Noor lying over here. Good. She thinks it's good. And a little Wada over there. It's cramped in here. It's cramped in here. Yeah. But you like tiny spaces. I know. But the question is not whether it's tiny in there, because that's okay. Is it comfortable lying? Yes. Yes? Yes. This is going to be interesting. Are you ready for your first night in the cabin? So are you still able to watch your iPad while lying in the bed? Yes. See, that's my kids. As long as they can watch their iPad 
Everyone's happy. It's so freaking disappointing. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yes. Where's the bug? What? I see a bed. I somewhere saw a bug. Bed bug. This is not gonna end well. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good morning guys. Good morning. So how was you sleeping in the bunk good. bed? Good. What? What's your opinion? It was good. You had enough room and was it comfortable to lie on? Yeah. Tortje, vond jij het goed slapen? Yes. Yes. Beetje een small beetje. Beetje small, maar breed genoeg voor jou? Ja. Lekker goed geslapen? Want jou heb ik helemaal niet gehoord, dus jij was heel stilletjes. So, does it get the, does it get a Van Lossy crew thumbs up? Yeah. Thumbs up. So, how about some getting up and breakfast? Okay. So, last thing we need to do is, well, tidy everything up and then take the cab and out again, put it back in his bag, and then we have our two chairs again. Let's show you how easy that is done. Whoa. Boink. Uh, blah. So it's all packed up neatly in its bag. This one goes back in the uh, in the back of the van. Uh, if we if we don't if it's just me, uh, I don't bring all of the gear for the kids, so it's easily taken out. Uh, it's it's set up in minutes and it's broken down again in minutes. Um, so it's it's an easy solution and the kids love sleeping in it. I guess he says yes. You can get it at their website, which is cabin.co.uk. Uh, you have it in a single bed version and a double bed version. So if you only have one child, maybe you can get the single bed version. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I guess from the whole Van Lossy crew and myself, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.